this quick tip video, we're going to look at manipulating a vocal melody using an external keyboard. Now I've got a lead vocal here. It's double tracked or triple tracked, but you get the idea. So this is the vocal I'm going to change. And I want to use this vocal to create another harmony vocal. So first up, I'm simply doubling the original lead vocal and renaming it. Now I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to add the Steinberg pitch correction insert. Pitch Correction comes with Cubase Elements, Artist, and Pro, and it's one of the most underutilized plugins. In the center of the plugin, I'm changing my scale source to an external MIDI note. Now I need to set up a MIDI channel, so I'm adding a MIDI track, and I'm just going to call this Vocal Control. Now you need to assign that MIDI track to the Pitch Correction plugin. Yours may say not connected, so just double check that it's routed correctly. You can't see it just yet, but my MIDI keyboard is now connected to that plugin, and I'm going to turn the monitor button on and go up to the doubled vocal track. Now this is the one with the pitch correction on it. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the correction and turn the speed and the tolerance all the way up. Turning it all the way up will produce a relatively artificial sound, but that's kind of pitch correction in a nutshell. And we use things like the format over on the right hand side, so the shift, the optimize and the preservation to change the actual tonal qualities of the voice, which means we can actually use one person to sing all the harmonies and give it different qualities. I'm playing the notes on the left hand with my MIDI keyboard and as I'm doing it live, the pitch correction is altering the actual pitch of the melody. Now just a disclaimer, there's a little bit of aliasing, which is me not playing the notes on the left hand before the vocals have started. And before people jump in the comments and go, man, that sounds like dog's bollocks, I agree with you, it does. But with my right hand, what I'm trying to do is come up with a format setting that's gonna work for this track. So let's have a crack at that. It is more natural, of course, to stick to harmonies that would be within the vocal range of the singer. This is quite an exposed track as well, and it's still quite high in the mix. If you're going for an electronic sound, maybe you'd move the shift up a bit. Let's just try shifting it down a bit. There you go. I'm going to record what I'm playing on the MIDI track. Now I can play that back. And of course I can edit the MIDI data that I've just recorded. Let's double click on it and I can change it as I go on the fly in the lower zone. Now as I move the notes, the pitch of that harmony is also altered. So we can use the foreman to go crazy or bring the harmony back down to a more natural sound. Of course this track would demand a natural sound. You can also go and change your speed and tolerance and find something that works for you. Thanks for taking the time to stop by this quick tip video. Please like it if you've learned something and subscribe to our Cubase channel for tons more quick tip videos. Catch you soon.